مساء الخير واهلا بيكم في حلقه جديده من حلقات اي اس ال انجلش از ا سكند لانجويج توداي وي جونا ستارت سم توبيك سم اوف يو اسك اباوت ذا فلايت ذا تريتمنتس ات ذا ايربورت هاو تو ديل وذ بيبل ات ذا ايربورت وات ار ذا مين فوكابلري ذا مين ووردز تو نو وان يو ار تشيكينج ان اور تشيكينج اوت ات ان ايربورت وي هاف تو نو سم ووردز سم فوكاب ريليتد تو تريتمنتس ات ذا ايربورت النهارده الحلقه دي عن موضوع طلب البعض وهي الحجوزات حجوزات الطيران او التشيك ان وانت داخل المطار او المصطلحات او الكلمات المفردات اللي المفروض ان احنا نستخدمها او نبقى عارفينها واحنا بنتعامل في المطار وي هاف ا 3 ستيج باكج توداي وزي كل مره احنا متعودين ان الماتيريال بتنزل قبلها بيوم احنا عملنا لها ابلودنج من امبارح بعد الظهر بتبقى موجوده على 7 فايبر جروبس بتوعنا وعلى الفيسبوك بيج بتاع جريس والفيديو ده كمان هيكون موجود على جريس متاح وعلى الفايبر جروبس وعلى اليوتيوب وفي كل مكان للناس اللي محتاجه تاخد مفردات او محتاجه تتعلم شويه شويه كونفرسيشنز للتريتمنتس اللي بتحصل في الايربورت وانت بتعمل تشيكينج ان وانت داخل او انت بتعمل تشيكينج اوت وانت خارج اوكي سو ذا فيرست بيج ذس بيج هتلاقوها اللي هي موجوده قدامكم اللي هي قد ايربورت احنا عندنا اباوت 11 11 بيكتشرز و11 فريزز اور ووردز We have 11 pictures and 11 phrases or words. We have to match each picture with the correct phrase or word. At the airport, match the vocabulary to the pictures. Uh, let's read the vocab first. يلا نقرأ كلمات الأول. We have the departure gate, اللي هي بوابة الخروج. Departure, اللي, ب, اللي, ب, 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 اللي هي بخرج منها من المطار عشان أروح لأركب الطيارة. دي بيسموها departure gate. Okay. Uh, بعد كده عندي uh, تحتيها طبعا هما مش in order بس let's try to take it in order بعد كده عندي flight check in وانت بتعمل check in داخل تعمل check in للرحلة بعد كده destinations اللي هي كلمة destination معناها جهة الوصول what's your destination if you are traveling to Egypt this is your destination Egypt is your destination if you are coming to California California is your destination if you're traveling or flying to Uh, Syria or, um, or uh, whatever, Rome, uh, Spain, London, Paris, these are the destinations. هي دي أماكن الوصول اللي احنا رايحين لها. بعد كده عندي حاجة اسمها boarding. boarding هو ركوب المسافرين للطيارة. طلوع المسافرين على الطيارة. بعد كده runways اللي هي الممرات اللي الطيارة بتمشي فيها قبل ما بتعمل take off أو إقلاع. بعد كده عندي الباسبورت تشيك بيعمل تشيك على الباسبورت بتاعك بيعمل لك الفينجر برينتس او اللي هي البايومتريكس والحاجات دي وانت داخل خلاص هتركب الطياره اوفر ويت وزن زياده تيك اوف اقلاع الطياره وان ذا بلين ليفز ذا ايربورت ذس از ذا تيك اوف وان ذا بلين ليفز ذا ايربورت ذس از ذا تيك اوف الطياره سايبه المطار ده الاقلاع سكيورتي تشيك بوينت اللي هي زي السكيورتي جيتس او الالكترونيك جيتس البوابات الالكترونيه اللي بيعملوا فيها فحص امن يعني يشوفوا معاك اي اجهزه خطيره او معدات باجج كليم باجج كليم هو لو حد عنده الشنطه فقدت على سير الشنط بيعمل باجج كليم ان الشنطه مش موجوده ايربورت تيرمينال اللي هي صاله الوصول في المطار سو ذيس ار ذا 11 ووردز اور ذا 11 فريزز وي هاف تو ماتش ايتش وورد اوف فريز وذ ذا كوركت بيكتشر وي هاف نمبر 1 وير جونا ستارت وذ ذا فيرست اي بيكتشر ويتش از ات ذا upper left hand side of the page فوق على الشمال عندي ايربورت وعندي صاله كبيره كده او عندي يعني مبنى كبير هو ده التيرمينال اللي هي صاله الوصول يبقى اول صوره نمبر 1 هتبقى ايربورت تيرمينال نمبر 1 ايربورت تيرمينال اللي هي صاله الوصول when you comes or gets out of the plane you go through this airport terminal until your relatives or friends come and pick you up okay انت لما بتكون خارج من الطياره you go through this airport terminal you can stay in this terminal for some time you can have a meal you can have a drink you can buy some due or custom free goods اللي هي السوق الحره اللي ما فيهاش ضرايب you can uh, have a photo whatever you can do anything whatever you want in this airport terminal so the airport terminal is the, the place where you wait or where you can do any activity after you get off the plane and before you leave the airport لما بتخرج من الطياره قبل ما تسيب المطار بعد كده عندي نمبر لو هنمشي بالترتيب لان الصور ذا بيكتشرز ار نوت ان اوردر الصور مش مترتبه هتلاقي نمبر 2 واضح ده سير العربيات هو ده اللي بيسموه الباجج او الباجج كليم باجج باجج يعني حقائب السفر او باجج كليم 
اللي هو سير الطيران لما حد بنقول انه the bag is not here or my suitcase is not here uh, my packages are not complete my package is not I'm sorry package is an uncountable word كلمة لا تجمع لا تعد فبقول package is رغم ان هي مجموعة حقائق بس it's uncountable زي كلمة information زي كلمة money زي كلمة milk water tea sugar all these items are called uncountable nouns يعني ايه uncountable nouns they don't have plural forms ما بياخدوش s so وبيتعاملوا معاملة السنجل so package is for example my package is not complete I'm sorry I have to do to make a claim I have to make a claim because I missed a bag I lost a bag My package is not complete. I have to do a claim or make a claim. Okay. Number three, the third one. This is the place, the door that I'm going to enter from the plane. We call it departure gate. The departure means the arrival, the arrival. The departure is the opposite of arrival. Okay. So departure gate is the gate of arrival. The gate you go through, the gate through which you go through to take the the, the plane to to be boarded on the plane. To start the boarding process, to to add the minute, so that you can start the plane. Okay. Number four, we have a basket including a lot of a lot of known things. For for example, we have Big Ben, Big Ben watch, Sir Big Ben, a week Big Ben clock. Here they say more clock, Big Ben clock. Some Big Ben clock. This is the Sir Big Ben. It is found in London, in England. So Sir Big Ben, Sir Big Ben, Sir Big Ben watch. This Sir Big Ben, Sir Big Ben, Big Ben clock. So we have Big Ben clock, we have uh, Statue of Liberty, we have Eiffel Tower, we have a lot of famous cities because Big Ben uh, clock is located in London, in England, and the, the Statue of Liberty is located in New York, USA, and Eiffel Tower is located in uh, Paris, France. So these are a group of destinations, destinations. Destinations. Okay, destination. What's your destination, sir? Uh, what's your What's your destination, ma'am? Uh, you are lost in uh, at an airport terminal. You don't know which which terminal, which gate, which uh, the flight number. You're lost. So if you go to some person and ask about your flight, the first question is, what What's your destination, ma'am, or sir, or, or Mister? What's your destination? Destination. Where are you traveling from? Uh, sorry, where are you traveling to? Where are you flying to? So what's your destination? Yani, where are you traveling to? Where are you traveling? Where are you flying to? Right? Okay, so number four, destinations. Number five, we have some runways, some paths, some roads for the plane to take before it starts taking off. Mama Rabbi Timshi Tia Tayara before it takes off. Abla Matokla, Dibin Samia, runways. Runways. So it's runways, it's one word, one word. It's not two separated word, it's just one word. Number six, what's that? The plane has taken off. This is the takeoff. When the plane leaves the airport and starts the flight. This is the takeoff process. Takeoff, takeoff. Number seven, what's that? Number seven, number seven. Number seven, someone is checking the passport and you are doing your biometrics or your, your fingerprints, this is the passport checkpoint, passport check. Passport, this is the passport check employee, employee or the passport check clerk, passport. What's number eight? Yes, this is an electronic gate. Someone is inspecting your clothes or um, scanning you with a scanner. This is a security checkpoint, security checkpoint, security checkpoint. Checkpoint. Okay. Number nine. What's that? This is the process of boarding. They are going into the plane. They are saying bye, goodbye. They are, they are saying farewell. They are saying goodbye to their friends and relatives. So this is the boarding process. Boarding. What is the boarding time? If, the, if your flight is at 10, the boarding time is 8 or 8.30. Okay. Two hours or one one hours and half one hour and half before the takeoff time. Number ten. What's that? Everyone is waiting for the flight check-in. They are waiting to make check-in, to make the check-in. You are checking in. يعني داخلين خلاص بن بن check-in. 
تشيك ان يعني بنمضي او بن 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 بياخذوا بعض البروسيدجرز علشان نحن داخلين الطياره خلاص سو ذيس از ذا فلايت تشيك ان اللي هو تشيك ان انك جيت خلاص تركب الطياره بتاعتك تشيك ان نمبر 11 واتس ذا ذيس از ا فيري كومن بروبلم وان يو ار ترافلينج اور فلاينج اف يو يو هاف ان اوفر ويت باج اور اوفر ويت باجج سو ذيس از اوفر ويت Overweight, overweight was nizieda. So number one, we have the airport terminal, salat al usul, the place when you wait after you get off the plane. You can have a drink, you can have a meal, you can have a photo, you can buy some custom or duty free goods. The al badaya bin suul hurra. You can catch a fly, another fly if you are in a transit. انت عامل ترانزيت فهتاخد طياره ثانيه من طياره لطياره. نمبر 2 وي هاف ذا باجج كليم سير الشنط. اف يو اف يو لاست سام سام باج يو يو هاف تو ميك ا باجج كليم اوكي ات ذيس بليس. نمبر 3 ديبارتشر جي ذا جي ثرو ويتش يو كان جو انتو ذا بلين. يو ار ناو جوينج انتو ذا بلين تو ستارت ذا بوردينج بروسيس. نمبر 4 ذيس از ذيس از ا باسكي Um, including a group of destinations, the places where you're flying to, you're traveling to, the places you're reaching, the places you're going to. We have New York uh, as a destination because we have the Stage of Liberty, we have the Big Ben clock in London, we have the Eiffel Tower in Paris, whatever. Number five, we have a group of runways, runways, the paths or the roads, okay? Over which or to which the plane go before it takes off. It, it, it walks for some time on such runways or path before it starts taking off. Number six, this is the takeoff process when the plane starts to leave the airport and starts to, the, the flight. Number nine, uh, number seven, we have the passport check. Some clerk or some employee is checking your passport on the computer while you are doing your biometrics or your fingerprints. Number eight, this is the security checkpoint. Someone is scanning your clothes to make sure you don't have any dangerous tools, any uh, forbidden uh, materials, whatever. Number nine, this is the boarding process when you're going into the plane to sit inside the plane and wait for the takeoff. Number 10, the flight check-in. This is a queue, stuff of people waiting for their check-in to start the flight. Number 11, this is an overweight problem. This person has an overweight bag or has baggage which, which, are, which is overweight. Number 11, this is the last picture. So uh, below at the same page, answer questions. These are questions about what to do with what. We, we spoke about a lot of items during your fly or at the airport. We spoke about the terminal, the departure gate, the passport check-in or the passport check, the security uh, checkpoint, the check-in process, the boarding process, the runways, the takeoff, a lot of the destinations, a lot of vocab, a lot of words. Okay, what are the meanings or the functions or the uses of such items? Let us answer the questions below. Okay, now let's answer the questions. So question number one, what can you do at the airport terminal? That's what we've just said. That's what we've just said. We've just spoken about the airport terminal and what we can do at the airport terminal. At the airport terminal, you can do the following procedures. At the terminal, you can catch another flight, catch a flight if you are on a transit. And you left the first fly, the first plane, you are waiting for, and yani we can wait for a plane. Wait for another plane in a transit trip. Okay, you've left your first plane, you're waiting for another plane in the terminal. You can have a meal or a drink in a cafeteria or whatever. Okay, you can buy jewelry or custom, يعني جمارك, free goods, goods يعني بضايا, فلما أقول custom free or duty free goods يعني بضايا غير مجمركة, بنسموها السوق الحرة, okay, السوق الحرة, um, yeah, 
question number two, this is question number one. Question number two, what's the problem in picture 11? There is a problem in picture 11. A passenger has overweight package and the clerk, the authorized employee, Mozaf al Mas'ul, is telling him, stop, you're an overweight. You're an overweight. Your package is overweight. So the problem is that a passenger, yani rakib or musafir, a traveler, maybe, has overweight baggage. 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 Or bag, whatever. Now, on a bag, an overweight bag, because bag is a count for noun. It has a singular and plural form, the word bag. So, over is starting with a, 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 a vowel. So, an overweight bag or overweight baggage because baggage is uncountable. It doesn't have singular or plural forms. Number three, what happens at the departure gate? What do you do at the departure gate? What do you do? Huh? At the departure gate, to check in, to take the plane. So, at the departure gate, the passengers. Wait to catch a fly or to catch a plane. Catch, يعني يرحق أو يركب أو يأخد. Take, take a plane or start a fly. Plane or fly, both are correct. So at the departure gate, passengers wait until they be boarded on their their planes until they 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 catch their fly. يركبوا بقى الطيارة بتاعتهم. Number four. When do you go to the baggage claim? When? بتروح الباجج كليم امتى؟ ها؟ امتى؟ يبقى لما بتنزل من الطيارة وبتخلص كل إجراءاتك يبقى we go to the baggage claim اللي هو سير الشنط after we get out the plane get out of the plane نخرج من الطيارة and be done خليها after we are done and are done are done with all procedures, with all procedures. The last procedure is to go to the baggage claim and pick up your bags. This is your last procedure. When you get out of the plane, you start a trip of procedures. The check in, the passport, the, the visa, whatever, a series of routine procedures. After you're done with all procedures, you go to the baggage claim to search for and pick up your bags. If you don't, find all your bags or if your baggage is not complete you have to do a claim a baggage claim that's what we call the sear baggage claim number five how long before a flight do you check in this is a very good question how long before a flight do you check in check in so this is a very good question and it differs from international flights and local local flights for international flights you have to check in two or three hours earlier before your fly. For domestic flights or local flights or national flights, you have to check in one or two hours earlier. So let's let's write the answer to this question. Okay. For example, for international, question number five, for international flights, international, international, that's to say if you are flying to or traveling to uh, another country, this is an international flight, you are traveling to or flying to or going to another country, a completely different country, okay? You have to check in, you have to check in two or three hours before the takeoff date, the takeoff time. Sorry, the takeoff time. But for domestic flights, domestic, domestic flights, that's to say if you are flying or traveling inside the country, national flights okay inside the country okay so domestic flights national flights local flights they are the same if you are traveling or flying or going 
to another city or another county or another state, like in the USA, okay? You have to chicken, you have to chicken, you have to chicken one to two hours before the take of time, before the take of time, take of time. So if you are going on an international trip, an international flight, if you're flying, traveling, going to another country, you have to check in two or three hours earlier before the take of time of your plane. If your plane is taking off at nine, you have to check in at six. But for domestic flights, local flights, uh, national flights, if you're traveling to uh, another city, another county, another state inside, within the same country, you have to check in one or two hours earlier before the take of time. If, you're, if, you're, if your plane is taking off at six, you have to check in at four, maybe at five. It's okay. So let's turn to the following page right now. The second page in our package today. Okay. Asking for information, airport dialogues. This is a form of many dialogues, very interesting dialogues, very interesting many conversations that may take place at the airport between you as a traveler or a passenger and the clerk at the airport. ممكن تبقى دايلوج صغيرة كده ممكن تحصل في المطار بينك وبين الموظف في أي وقت. So number one, for example, you have to complete. You have the beginning of the mini dialogue or the 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 the, the utterance or the sentence, and you have to complete it. Uh, a woman has two very heavy bags. She cannot afford it. She cannot carry the bags. The bags are too heavy to carry. So she says, I can't carry these bags. Where you can complete, you can imagine any completion. For example, uh, I'm sorry, um, I can't carry these bags. They're too heavy. They're too heavy to carry. So my question is where, let, let's use the blue one because I think it's clearer. Where can I find a car? You know the car in, here in Los Angeles airport, you put some coins, you put some coins and you use a car for your package. I think in some airports here in Los Angeles, I think maybe um, $5. It's not kind, it's pill, $5 pill. In other airports, maybe kinds uh, for quarters or um, more, for $1 or more. But it differs, the, the prices are different. Uh, in some other airports, the cars are free, no kinds, no, no pills. Where can I find a cart or a trolley to help me carry my bags or my package? The, uh, the, the bags are too heavy to carry. My package is too heavy to carry. I can't carry them. I can carry it. If baggage, carry it. If uh, bags, carry them, okay? Number two, this is a conversation, two-sided conversation between an officer at the airport and a passenger. The officer may be trying to inspect the passenger and the, maybe the officer found something dangerous with him and he told him, did you know you are not allowed to casa? Whatever, okay? Maybe he found some sharp tool like a knife in his pocket. Uh, this passenger is going on into the plane, is being poured into the plane, but he has a knife in his pocket, which, which is not allowed. So the officer told him, did you know you are not allowed to, for example, you are not allowed, to, uh, this is number one, this is number two, you are not allowed to take, for example, a sharp object, like a knife, a razor, any sharp tool, any sharp object, adahadda, okay? Uh, um, uh, on the plane, this is the question, the officer question. Okay, did you know you're not allowed to take any sharp objects on the plane? أنت ما ما عرفتش إن مش مسموح لك تاخد أي أداة حدة أو أي sharp object على الطيارة. ف the passenger can tell him, oh no, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. In this case, if the officer is a, is a kind man, he will take the objects, okay? If he's not, he may make some measure, he may take some action, he may make some procedure. 
which may reach um, not allowing the passenger to be pulled into the plane. Number three, we have a three phrase conversation, or three sentence conversation. Number one, here you are, uh, here are you, I'm sorry, here are your boarding passes. And when you are uh, going into the plane, you have a boarding pass. Here are your boarding passes. Do you have any questions? And maybe um, the question is, for example, um, the question is, is the flight on time? And هل الطيارة جايف معدها? Is the flight on time? This is the passenger, the question. So the, the, the clerk will say, yes, it is. Aywa, he gave معدها. Yes, it is. So again, the clerk is giving the passengers, uh, a couple, maybe uh, spouses, husband and wife, their boarding passes so that they can go into the plane and be boarded into the plane, saying, here are your boarding passes. Do you have any questions? One of those passengers ask, is the flight on time? And the clerk answers, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Number four. What's going on, number four? Oh, this is an electronic gate. This is a security checkpoint, and someone is scanning, scanning a person. So, um, what can he say? He can say to him, the person who is scanning the, the, the passenger can say, do you have any thing in your pockets? In your pockets? This is the question. So the, the, the person authorized to do the security check is check-in or the security checkpoint, the person who stands at the security checkpoint and is authorized to do the check-in, the security check-in or the scanning process is asking the passenger while he is, uh, a passenger is going through the, the electronic gate and the, uh, they hear some peep. This peep means that the person, the passenger has something which is metal, metallic, something like that. So that the person authorized to do the, the scanning, ask them, do you have anything in your pocket? Why is that peep which we are hearing? Only my wallet, only my wallet, only my keys. The keys are metallic, so maybe the keys are the reason for this peep. Okay, whatever. Number five, this is number five, yeah. This is a conversation between a clerk and a passenger, a traveler. Oh, the passenger said, I've just missed my flight. I've just missed Fatitni. The opposite of to catch a flight is to miss a flight. Catch the train, miss the train. Catch the, the bus, miss the bus. تلحق القطر أو تلحق الأتوبيس أو تلحق الطيارة تفوتك الطيارة أو الأتوبيس أو القطر. So miss is the opposite of catch. To catch a flight, يلحق الطيارة أو يلحق الرحلة بتاعته to miss the flight to فوت الطيارة. فبيقول لها, I've just missed my flight. أنا لسه طيارتي فايتاني حالا، أوكي؟ فممكن يقول لها إيه وهي ترد تقول له إيه؟ Try to imagine we have to be creative in such section. For example, let me use this one. For example, he can ask her to check him in, in another flight. يعني تحاول يحاول تدخله على طيارة تانية بس يقول لها إيه؟ Let me, let me check يا let me بتتنطق على بعضها let me كأنها مكتوبة كده L E M M E. وهكذا جيف مي بيقولوها جيف مي ما اقول لك جيف مي تو بوكس مثلا دي 2 دولار تو بوكس جيف مي تو بوكس جيف مي جيف مي يور بوك جيف مي يور فوتو جيف مي يور باسبورت هنا لات مي لات مي تشيك لات مي تشيك لات مي لات مي لات مي سو لات مي تشيك لات مي تشيك الو سوري ام سوري ذيس از ذا كومبليشن اوف هيز كويشن وي هافن دون يت هي سيز اي جاست ميس ماي فلاي اند ذير از ا كومبليشن وي هاف تو كومبليت Can you get me on the next one, please? Next one, please. This is the first interaction. The first interaction. I've just missed my flight. Can you get me on the next one, please? I'm still flying. Tired. I'm going to put you on the other one. Please. So, do the clerk. Yeah, I start for a half hour. So, let me check. Let me. Let me check. Where are you going? Where are you flying? What's your destination? Where are you flying to? Where are you going to? What's your destination? Whatever, for example, San Francisco. 
this is a domestic if, if you are traveling from california and from orange county to san francisco it's inside the same state not only the same country san france france francisco francisco san francisco okay uh, i've just missed my flight can you get me on the next one please let me check where are you going to what are you going what are you flying to what are you where are you traveling to san francisco number six a clerk an officer is holding is catching a passport saying i'm sorry this passport has expired this is the most desirable completion so this is number this is number six this is number five and this is number six i'm sorry this passport has expired you cannot travel you cannot use it anymore it's expired uh, number seven flight ek384 whatever this is uh, some attendant or some employee at the airport trying to uh, say some information concerning some flight موظفه او مضيفه او whatever بتقول بعض المعلومات عن الطيران forever we can imagine any any information for example it's flight ek384 to for example london for, for example flight ek384 to london is leaving is leaving خلاص اي ما taking off from gate من بوابة for example h or 6 whatever boarding ركوب الطيارة is at for example 7 pm so this is very important information set by a clerk in at the airport flight ek384 to london is leaving from gate 22 h 6 whatever boarding is at 7 pm 5 pm whatever Let's it is the port to do number eight and number nine. That has two conversations. Okay, number eight, I wonder, whatever, she's wondering something. Um, oh, this is a passenger who's trying at the schedule, the airport schedule, and she's trying to find her flight. She can say this sentence, for example, number eight, I wonder, I'm asking myself, wonder means to ask myself. I wonder, that's to say I'm asking myself, بس أل نفسي. I wonder if my flight is delayed because I can't see it on the schedule. And I will ask if you're going to be late. I'll show you the schedule. Number nine, the last one. When you board the plane, imagine what can the... This is an attendant. This is attendant. The word attendant is the word host. Attendant, but attendant is American. Host is British. Attendant, but attendant is American. Host is British. Air hostess, مضيفة طيران. ال 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 alternative الأمريكان بتاعها اللي بيستخدموه هنا it's a plane or a flight attendant. مضيفة الرحلة. مضيفة المضيفة الجوية بتاعة الرحلة. ف for example, when you port when you port the plane means what's the meaning of port the plane? To go into the plane. To get into the plane. To go up the plane. تطلع الطيارة. تركب الطيارة. تدخل الطيارة. To go inside the plane. To be seated inside the plane. تقعدوا في الطيارة. When you port the plane, this is a very important expression. Porting time. How was the time when you go into the plane, get into the plane? So when you board the plane, that's the meaning of that is when you get into the plane. Number three, cabot tayara. She can say, please get your your boarding pass. Pass. Lista me kalimin al boarding pass. El pass el tercabo bi tayara. Ready to show to the flight attendant. Maybe this is a sentence set by a clerk. For example, you are checking in and the clerk is giving you uh, your uh, porting pass and she tells you that. Please, when you board the plane, please get your porting pass ready to show it to the flight attendant. عشان توري للمضيف. Let's turn to the last page, the third page of our package, which is this one again. We have some very interesting, some very interesting expressions, some very interesting problems. 
which we can face, which we can encounter the poor when traveling to some destination. We have uh, some vocab, some expressions, some phrases, some problems, some solutions to these problems. Let's see. Okay. Travel problems. Mashakil safar. We have just pictures, and then we try to imagine a story for each picture. For, for example, this is picture number one. Picture number two will give you five minutes. Okay, after that, we have eight pictures. Just have a look at the picture, at each picture. At each picture, I'm sorry, I have a look at all the eight pictures. Give one minute or maybe less for each picture and try to think of the story underlying this picture. Then we will have some words to use, then we'll have some questions. So I'll give you five minutes until I'm done with, with raising the board. Okay, maybe less than five minutes, but I will uh, help you. We have eight pictures and then we have a lot of words, a lot of vocab, a lot of expressions which we can use to express uh, what's happening, what's going on each picture, to explain the story underlying each picture. We have the word see, yani kursi aw makataban. There is a big difference between chair and see. Chair is a movable piece of furniture. Uh, I can carry it, I can move it, I can put it in another way, in another place. كرسي الشير ده قطعة من الأساس متحركة أقدر أشيلها وأغير مكانها. But C is a fixed piece. For example, cinema seats, car seats, bus seats, train seats, plane seats. ال ال الكراسي أو المقاعد السابقة. فرق بين كرسي ومقعد. المق كرسي شيء. Taxi seat. Okay. أي مقعد ثابت ما بيتحركش. It's not movable. You can remove it. You can move its place. You can move or move it to another place or change its place. This is a seat. But every movable piece of furniture, this is a chair with different types, but arm chair, uh, stool, uh, sofa, whatever. So chair is a piece of uh, movable piece of furniture. You can move it to another place. You can change its place. You can carry it. You can remove it. You can clean it, whatever. But C is a fixed item. It's fixed. It's, it's not movable. You, can, you cannot carry it. You cannot separate it from its place. You cannot change its place or move it to another place or uh, uh, order it or organize it another way, okay? Like on a cinema C, theater C. طبعا السينما بقول عليها movie theater أكتر. Theater C, bus C, taxi C, underground or subway C, plane C, whatever. Isle, طبعا Isle, الاس بعد Isle تبقى silent زي كلمة Island جزيرة. كلمة Isle برضو يعني جزيرة ودي بتتقال على the mirror part of the plane. اللي بيحب يركب في الجزء اللي في النص في الطيارة عشان بيبقى فيه بالانس زي ما بعض الناس بتقول طبعا بيفضلوا الايل دي عشان تبقى بالانس مكان بالانس باسنجر راكب او مسافر تشايلد طفل امبيشنت ما عندوش صبر هاري مسرع او بسرعه تاكسي تاكسي اوفر بوكت يعني حاجز مكان اكبر من حجمه شويه او او بالعكس هو حاجز واخد اكبر من المكان اللي حاجزه يعني انا حاجزه تشير آه سوري سي ام سوري انا غلطت انا حاجزه سي واخده سي بالسيت اللي جنبه ده اوفر بوكت يعني حاجزه واخده مكان بس يعني انا واخده اكتر من اللي حجزته. اوكي okay, this is an expression. كاب كاب زي تاكسي. سكواش حاجه مفعوصه او مضغوطه. بيك اب باخد حاجتي. كراينج بيعيط. كليم دي بتتقال اكتر على الباكج كليم لما وانا اي لوز ا باج ان ذا ان ذا ان ان ا فلايت اي هاف تو ميك ا كليم. ارجينج ديسكاسنج بيتناقشوا بيتخانقوا ميبي كوارلينج. تيكتس التذاكر. سوكيس شنطه الملابس. باكج حقائب السفر كلها ترافلر زي باسنجر مسافر او راكب دامجت حاجه بايظه باسنجر متكرره اتسرفيت موشن حركه سيكنس مرض ريد اي عين حمراء ايربلين طياره فلاي الرحله مان راجل اسليب نايم فول فول اسليب ده اكسبريشن معناه بيروح في النوم سكرين بيصرخ وات ايفر وي كان يوز ذيس اكسبريشنز تو ديسكرايب واتس جوينج اون ايتش ايتش بيكتشر 
So create short conversations about the above situations using the vocabulary and sentence above and try to expand. Before we do these conversations, we have to explain each, each story, each, each picture. Number one, for example, a man is, there is a question mark. So he's asking himself, he's wondering, where is my bag? I lost my bag. I have to make a, a claim because I lost my bag. I can find my bag on the back claim. I can find my bag on the stair al Arabiya. I lost my bag. I'm wondering. I'm, I'm asking myself where, where my bag uh, can be found. Number two, a very fat man who is sitting in his place and taking part of the next place, sitting in his seat and taking part of the next seat. So he is annoying the person, the very thin man next to him, sitting beside him. Uh, what about number three? Number three, a man found in, in, in the bag claim or baggage claim, a man found his, his bag damaged, squashed, broken or cut or whatever. It's squashed, damaged. It's cut. It's not, it's not, it's not uh, as it is. Uh, story number, uh, number four, there is a cab or a taxi, a yellow taxi. Uh, the driver is driving so slowly. The, the passenger is, 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 in a hurry because maybe he has a flight he will miss he's gonna miss his flight he's gonna not catch his, his plane and because he was in a hurry he was impatient he forgot to lock the, the trunk of the car the bags will fall down of the trunk number five again the same fat man this is a fat man it's not fat he he fought he while sitting, he fell asleep, and he fell asleep over his next seat uh, person, over the person sitting next to him, over the shoulder of his neighbor, Garu, the name Gab. Maybe picture sticks, this is a traveler or passenger who is sitting in, an, in, in the aisle of the, of the plane. في الجزيرة بتاعت الطيارة, he's sitting alone. تعرفين الأيل بتبقى صفة كراسي لوحده. This is for, for for some people. This is very comfortable. He he feels comfortable. He doesn't have anyone to annoy him. No one sitting to him next to him. What about number seven? There is a quarrel, an argument. Two persons are arguing or quarreling concerning the tickets. Maybe someone took the place of another. Someone took the seat of another, and they are showing the tickets to each other. Uh, number eight. A passenger having a baby, the baby is crying and screaming and she's not paying attention. Uh, she she wanna sleep, she has red eyes, she, maybe she hasn't slept the, the night before because of the baby and the baby is annoying the, the person in the next seat, whatever. Stories, problems on the plane. When you are taking a plane, when you are catching a flight. So now create short conversation. For example, number one, what's the problem in picture one? Again, a passenger lost his suitcase. A passenger lost one of his bags. A passenger is wondering, asking himself, where does my bag go? Where can or where has my bag gone? Where can I find my bag? I cannot find my bag on the baggage claim. I have to make a request or a claim because I've lost one of my bags or one of my suitcases. What about the question uh, type? What should he do about that? He has lost a bag, one of his bags or his suitcase. He has to make a request or a claim, okay? That he cannot find his bag on the baggage claim, okay? What about question two? What's the problem? A fat man has overbooked. He took the ticket, a seat, but he took his seat and part of the next seat. He's annoying the person next to him, sitting next to him. What's, what's the problem in, in, in picture three? A man found his suitcase on the baggage claim damaged, squashed. It's cut, it's everything inside is damaged, okay? What about question four? There is a big problem. A man is taking a taxi to the airport. Maybe he's in a hurry, he seems to be a, in a hurry because maybe he will miss the, the fly. Because he was in a hurry, he was impatient. He didn't close or lock the trunk of the car and the suitcases or the bags will go down of the trunk. What's the question in, in picture five? In picture five, a passenger has fallen asleep over the shoulder of the person in the next seat. Question six, I cannot find any problem 
there is no problem in questions in picture six. Maybe he cannot sleep, maybe there is noise in the plane, he cannot sleep, maybe. What's the problem in picture seven? Two persons are quarreling over the tickets. Uh, seemingly one of them, or apparently Yabdu in one of them, has taken the seat of the other. In question A, a baby is annoying, he's crying all the time, he's screaming, is annoying the person next to him. Okay, that was our stuff today, our material concerning treatments at the airport, what the problem we can face or encounter the airport or trying to catch a fly or take your plane, what the main words or the main vocab or the main terms, the terminology used at the airport, the airport terminal, the, the runways, the takeoff, the boarding, the suitcase or the package claim, uh, the, what, the checkpoint, the security checkpoint, the flight check and the passport check, the biometrics, the very important items or words used at the airport. Okay. Now, uh, as we promised, you will have homework each week at the end of our class. Uh, it's very easy. It's very interesting. You have to do the homework throughout the whole week. And if you can do the solutions to the questions on our Viper groups, we can see that we're happy to see that. Uh, and at the beginning of next class, I'll we'll discuss the questions and the answers with you. إحنا بناء على يعني الوعد اللي قلناه فاحنا بنجيب homework في آخر كل كلاس أسئلة لطيفة وصغيرة لو حابين تحلوها على الفايبر جروبس أوكي لكن كده كده إحنا هنحلها تاني على ال ال class الجاي إن شاء الله في بداية الكلاس so it's the the page with basic interaction quiz هي بتتنطق interaction بس because we have a problem with the flap T in American accent so it's more about interaction so basic interaction quiz it's a grammatical quiz vocab quiz Social in an action quiz is very interesting. Taban, I will not give you the solutions now. You'll give the solutions next class, but you have one week to try, one week to answer questions. As I told you, you can answer the questions on our Viber groups. We have seven Viber groups and Facebook pages. Okay, so I'll read the question twice and then I'll leave you to next time. Uh, choose the best reply A or B. Number one, how's everything? A, great. B, take care. Select the suitable answer. Select the proper response. Rad the sah. Again, how's everything? Great or take care? Number two, hello. What's what's the the response to this when I'm saying hello to you? How can you respond to me? You respond saying good afternoon or I am fine. Okay, try to select the best answer. So hello, A good afternoon, B I'm fine. Number three, any questions? A I don't know. B what does this word mean? Again, number three, any questions? Number A, I don't know. Number B, what does this word mean? Number four, what's your phone number? I'm 26 or 02484756. What's your phone number? I'm 26 or number B. Number five, how's it going? Not bad or I'm from Mexico. How's it going? Not bad, from Mexico. Number, number six, where are you from? I'm from Germany, I'm French. For this one, I think both can be acceptable. Maybe one is better than the other, but both are acceptable. Where are you from? I'm from Germany, I'm French. Number seven, she's very late, let's go. Number eight, meet you there? Yeah, I can wait. She's very late, let's go. Meet you there or yeah, I can wait. Yeah means yep, means yes, whatever. Number eight, is 10 okay with you? Number A, isn't it a bit later, uh, a bit late? Or number B, in half an hour? Again, is 10 okay with you? Isn't it a bit late? In half an hour. Number nine, excuse me, what's the time? A, 20, 12.30, uh, B, in two hours. Number nine, excuse me, what's the time? 12.30 or in two hours. 10, what about seven? A, okay then, B, common. What about seven? Okay then or common. Number 11, why are you looking for your umbrella? Number A, it doesn't rain. Number B, because it's raining. Why are you looking for your umbrella? It doesn't rain or because it's raining. Number 12, what do you do in the evenings? I'm watching TV, this is grammatical, grammar. I'm watching TV or I watch TV. Watch is more suitable from the grammatical. Watch the, 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 the best tense to fit here. What do what you do in, in the evenings? Watching TV or watch TV? Number 13, it's very hot today. That's all. That's true. It's very hot today. That's all. That's true. I'm agreeing with you. Number 14. Are you going to the cinema? Yes, I am. Yes, I do. Grammar. 
What's the best answer to fit here? Are you going to the cinema? Yes, I am, or yes, I do. Number 15, do you need a lift home? Tawsila, lift is British. Here, it's a drive. You need a drive? Okay. So it's the same, but British and American, the same words. Do you need a lift home? That's interesting, that's kind of you. Do you need a left home? That's interesting or that's kind of you. Number 16, what are you doing tomorrow? Anything special or nothing special? What are you doing tomorrow? Anything special or nothing special? What's better? Number 17, can you lend me some money? Ask something else, ask someone else. Okay, can you lend me some money? Ask something else, ask someone else. I think both can fit here, but one is better, but both can be correct. Number 18, why don't you buy these jeans? I don't have a receipt. I can afford them. Why don't you buy these jeans? Number A, I don't have a receipt. Number B, I can afford them. Wh which is the better answer? Or which is the correct answer? The more correct one if you have two correct answers. Number 19, what's she's like? She's kind and honest. She's tall and plump. What she's like? Kind and honest or tall and plump? Plump, yani shakra. Yani, uh, white complexion, bashra beda and yellow or golden hair. Number 20, how much is that? About $20, about two o'clock. How much is that? How much? Question worth asking about what? About $20 or two o'clock. Thank you so much for following us this episode. Uh, see you next time. We'll solve the questions of the homework at the uh, first 20 or 10 minutes, whatever. I think it will take only 10 minutes. And then we'll go on our very interesting topic. So please, Wait for us. Thank you and have a good weekend. Bye-bye.